So friends, there are growing indications that the courts are rising to the challenge. Determined not to let Donald Trump run out the clock so he can become a, quote, dictator on day one, as he promised. Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, Donald Trump is forever trying to run out the clock on being held accountable for his crimes. He is forever trying to weaponize the delay in the criminal justice system for his own nefarious purposes. Well now, there are several indications that the courts are done letting Donald Trump get away with these dirty little games he's been playing. Let's start with the new reporting. This from Newsweek. Headline, Supreme Court could take away Donald Trump's favorite strategy. And that article begins, the U.S. Supreme Court could deal a blow to former President Donald Trump's favorite legal strategy. The high court quickly agreed last week to hear special counsel Jack Smith's petition asking the justices to weigh in on Trump's immunity claim prior to the issue appearing before the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. The justices have already indicated they plan to decide quickly on whether or not to hear the case, ordering Trump to respond by December 20th. The speed with which the court has proceeded on the matter suggests that Trump's favorite legal strategy, delay, 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 may no longer work in his federal election interference case anymore. Smith has already been highly critical of the tactic in both of Trump's federal criminal cases, imploring judges in court filings not to be manipulated by those efforts and telling them that the former president is trying to delay trial at any cost. But here is actually the breaking news. The D.C. Court of Appeals agreed Monday to set arguments on Trump's immunity appeal for January 9. And friends, the reason that's important is January 9 is just one week after all of the legal briefs must be filed in the case. The appellate court set all briefs due on January 2nd. Put a pin in that. The D.C. Court of Appeals agreed Monday to set arguments on Trump's immunity appeal for January 9, deciding to schedule the hearings on the former president's motion to dismiss the federal election interference case before a final action from the Supreme Court. So friends, here's why I said put a pin in that date, January 9. You know, when I was a federal prosecutor, I argued criminal appeals before that very same court, the D.C. Federal Circuit Court of Appeals. And I can tell you from firsthand experience that after all of the briefs were submitted, we would sometimes wait months and months for the court to schedule an oral argument. Appeals ordinarily do not work their way through the system quickly. However, in this case, Donald Trump's criminal prosecution for trying to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, the case in which the presiding judge, Judge Tanya Chutkin, ruled that presidents are not kings, Donald Trump does not have immunity against being prosecuted for the crimes he committed while in office, democracy busting crimes, and that was appealed. In this case, the appellate court first ordered all of the briefs to be submitted at light speed within, I think, a couple of weeks, all of the briefs from both the prosecutors and Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys are due on January 2nd and just one week later. On January 9, there will be an oral argument conducted on Donald Trump's appeal of Judge Chutkin's ruling saying that Trump ain't a king and he can be prosecuted. Friends, that is light speed for federal appellate courts. 
So yes, the appellate courts are now signaling that they will no longer indulge Donald Trump's crooked little game of delay, delay, delay. And that's a good thing because getting Donald Trump's case tried and resolved well in advance of the November 2024 presidential election such that if he's the Republican nominee, the voters will go to the polls in November knowing whether they're casting their vote for a convicted and likely imprisoned felon or a completely innocent man, fully exonerated by a jury, found not guilty on all charges. Like justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.